Hey, hey, what's going on? It is Johanna Hunt here from johannahunt.ca back with another episode of JHTV. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five reasons that people struggle to build their network marketing business and build a profitable, successful, and leveraged network marketing business. Um, and most of the strategies that I teach, if you've seen any of my videos before, are all in the online space. I don't teach the old school methods. Uh, even though I do have a background in those and that's how I got started when I was in traditional direct sales. So before we go on, if you like this kind of training, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button um, so that you can be in the little bell so that you can get notified every time I have a new video uh, every single Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's dive in to this topic. So one of the reasons why network marketers struggle in this business, number one of the number one reasons why is they talk too much. Now I love to talk, my mentor loves to talk, but the thing is, is that most network marketers, they talk a lot about themselves. They talk a lot about the reasons why they love this business. They talk a lot about the reasons uh, why they love things, why they're doing this business. They talk a lot about their own successes and wins rather than talking about the other person, the other person's needs and leading with value. And so a lot of what you want to be doing when you're building in the online space and you're creating content is shift that focus of energy onto the other person versus onto yourself. And that starts with asking questions. So asking more questions and listening more than you're talking, right? Because not everybody has the same reasons why. Not everybody is looking for the same thing that you are, right? And so even when I'm creating my content, I am answering questions that are some of the FAQs I get when I'm in the prospecting process. Um, so that I know, because now I know what my audience is looking for, my ideal um, avatar is looking for the answers to, I know the questions to, to ask and I know the questions to answer, right? So when you're prospecting, you wanna be asking questions and when you're creating content, you wanna be answering those questions. Does that make sense? Okay, so number two, they don't talk to enough people. So this is another thing. Uh, you know, I see a lot of network marketers, they, they, most of them will post about their business, but they won't actually have conversations about their business, but they're posting and posting and posting. And it's the same people seeing their posts over and over again, because they're only talking to a few people, right? They're not bringing new people into their world on a consistent basis because they don't know how to bring people on. And you can learn a little bit more about how to build your business in a profitable way, what your daily method of operation should look like by grabbing my social media guide. It's free, it's down in the description box below. And that's gonna show you how to be bringing fresh people into your world on a consistent basis and getting your, becoming more visible to the right kind of people, um, which is really, really important. So not talking, T talking too much and then not talking to enough people, right? So posting and posting and posting, the same people seeing your stuff and you're trying to sell them every little thing that you have when really what you need to be doing is your, your message needs to be super concise and super focused and you're talking about the same thing over and over again in different ways, but to lots of different people versus talking and saying a lot of different things to a small group of people. Does that make sense? Okay, number three, they don't know how to post about their business in a pull way versus a push way. So again, this is about creating the value, answering those common and asked questions, um, educating, inspiring, and entertaining, and creating curiosity. And actually, I'm gonna leave you another resource down below because this is really important and it's probably one of the topics that I get asked the most questions about when people come inside of the Work Smart Play Hard Facebook group and I ask them what they want help on, content is always one of the most selected topics um, that people want training on. So I will leave you um, 20 posts for, for network marketers to help you get started so that you can start to shift the way that you're posting content on social media so that you're pulling people in versus pushing them away, right? You're attracting versus repelling because <laughs> that's what happens a lot. And that's why our um, profession tends to get a bad name. 
which leads me into number four, poor training and uneducated leadership. Uh, this is a big reason why a lot of network marketers struggle, and it's not necessarily the leader's fault. In some cases it is. I've seen, I've seen it all <laughs> um, from having been in one company, moved to another company, and seeing the contrast uh, of the two worlds. But um, a lot of times what it's happening is, is that training is trickling down, right? And we only know what we know, and we don't know what we don't know. And so having been in this profession for 10 years now, and having invested a lot of money into attraction marketing training, social media training, um, you know, content training, prospecting, sales, I've learned a lot. And so what happens is, is in most companies, what you're learning from the leaders in that company or from that company directly when you're getting started is sales. When it comes to social media and when it comes to attracting your niche to you, it's all about marketing. It's not about sales. Selling is what's happening on the back end. And I have other videos about that um, and, and how to set up your sales process. But this is about learning marketing. That's what's happening on the front end to attract people to you, right? And so a lot of people don't have that um, and they don't they don't have that, but they think that they have all the training, so they don't go out and actually personally invest in the right kind of training, right? And they don't invest in their own business, whether it's the products, whether it's the time to put in, whether it's investing in outside resources and training, like my social media academy, um, and other great leaders in the profession who have who have mastered this business and created a profitable, biz profitable business and helped other people create profitable businesses we've we've figured out the the blueprint right we've figured out the <laughs> i want to say the fast track to success even though that's not really a thing um but it will help you fast track your results when you actually have a blueprint to follow that works that's actually effective right um and that those two resources i shared with you are going to help a lot the social media guide and the 20 social media posts for network marketers those are going to get you off to a really great start so number five Last one is duplication. They don't know how to duplicate. This is probably the biggest one, right? So I see a lot of people in network marketing that they can sell product, they can recruit. And this is me for a long time, for almost six years. Why I couldn't make more than two grand a month is because yes, I could sell. Yes, I could do all the work, uh, but could I duplicate? Could I get other people to do what I was doing? Was it simple enough? Was it really part-time? Because I can tell you, the more you climb in your business, you'll realize this is not a part-time opportunity. It's another full-time gig. If you're not duplicating and if you're not doing things in a way that is super simple and leveraged and strategized, um, you're not gonna have that duplication, right? And that was the big shift that happened for me in this profession was when we changed, when I changed over to the social retail model after six years of being so stuck, and I plugged into this simple system. I was able to not only accelerate my own personal recruiting results and my own personal sales results, like triple, quadruple within the first couple of months of what I've been doing, but I was able to help duplicate that. So the people that I was bringing into this business, I was able to plug them into a simple system and show them how to get turn around and get results, like almost some of them almost immediately, right? Having somebody walk away from a full-time job four months into this business, having more team, having five people in our first year on our team earn the incentive trip, an incentive trip that I wasn't able to earn for the first six years, right? That's duplication. Not you creating success, but when you are able to teach other people how to duplicate that success, that's where, that's the beauty of network marketing. That's why we're here, right? And so if you don't have lots of people winning inside of your team, inside of your organization, your customers, your distributors, need they, everybody needs to be winning, right? This needs to be a win-win model for everybody and it needs to be so simple to duplicate that even your customers can duplicate it, right? And that's what we do here. So those are the five reasons why most people struggle in network marketing. Again, I will leave those resources for you down in the description box below. I hope you got some value from this. Again, if you do like this kind of training, hit that thumbs up button, hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video for you. And if you got some great value from this, I would love for you to share it out. 
Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me for another episode of JHTV. I will see you in the next video.